Not You've ever wondered if you could sleep with a train running through your room? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And today we are in Ogden, which is just north of Salt Lake City. As you know, we're travel the country. We love to support local businesses. We've got some friends in the area and they highly recommended that we needed to stop by Far Better Ice Cream. And we like to cook desserts on our Blackstone. So we figured what better way to support a local business and cook on our Blackstone than get some ice cream and make some chocolate chip cookie sandwiches. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. We landed on the moon. Welcome back to Destination Delicious. If you have been keeping up with our show lately, you may have noticed that we've been making quite a few dessert type recipes. I've been craving some sweets lately. I mean, I usually do, but the extra sweet cravings are pretty much blamed on this one right here. <laughs> That's right. The newest member of Griddle Nation is in the oven and <laughs> arriving sometime this fall. So we are very excited about that. But because of the little new one, yeah. sweet recipes just happen to be on the menu quite often. They're so now our specialty. <laughs> so we're doing another one today. First thing I'm going to do is run the ice cream back inside because it's a bit warm today and it's an ice cream sandwich, not an ice cream soup witch. So <laughs> I'll do that. We have the Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix where you just have to add butter and water. We got a couple different flavors of ice cream, so we want to try a bunch of them. Because cravings. Each package calls for one tablespoon, so since I doubled the recipe, I'll do two tablespoons of water. And then two sticks of butter. Oh, I got little minis. So in that case, a little surprise. I'll be doing four of them, little sticks of butter. So we basically mix this all up until it looks like actual chocolate chip cookie batter. The softer your butter, the better. All right, now it's time to get our cookies on the griddle. How'd that go? Alright, I've never, <laughs> I don't think I've ever messed up a recipe so bad. <laughs> it is, it is my first really big Destination Delicious, Goof. yeah, what do you call it, griddle of shame or something. So we made the chocolate chip cookies and I did think my batter was a little runny but it looked like the heat was getting to it maybe. So we put them on the griddle and it like just, outside, it's, yeah, it's, it's just a little warm today. And, um, we put them on the, the griddle and it, it is just not looking good at all. So this is not quite going as we had hoped it would. Um, yeah, they're just not holding together. So I'm like, okay, well I have extras, you know, let's make the batter again. And when I'm reading the recipe, I realized I only needed the half stick and not the full stick. So I double, like, put way too much butter in the batter, yeah. which is where we went wrong. Okay, so homemade ice cream chocolate chip sandwiches. Take, Take two. two. <laughs> that looks more like this deal. We've got our griddle set a little bit warmer than low. I'm gonna put some oil down and get the cookies on the griddle. We're gonna drop the batter right on the griddle and then we're gonna spread them out a little bit because it's not quite the same as baking and we wanna make sure we get that really good cookie formation. Oh, that was a good one. Now that all of our chocolate chip cookies are cooked and cooled down, it is time to make our sandwiches. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put down a couple of pieces of saran wrap, and we're gonna build our ice cream sandwiches right on the saran wrap. First, we lay down our cookie. Start with some Moose Tracks ice cream. Like our ice cream sandwich is thick. <laughs> then we top it off with a cookie. You could leave it just like that, but if you buy these ice cream from sandwiches from the store, you know they have that nice mini chocolate chip sprinkled edging. We want to get these in the freezer quickly because our ice cream will melt. We have a couple of flavors here from the far ice cream. We got mint chocolate chip, we have moose tracks, and we got cake batter. And I had ours sitting in the refrigerator so it was nice and easy to scoop. 
it is a little bit time consuming to make these ice cream sandwiches, but once you have them all made, you keep them in the freezer, you pop them out when you have guests over, if you're entertaining, have a party, or if you just want a nice refreshing summer sweet treat, like I do most of the time. Now that you're deserting for two. Yeah. That's such a great excuse of why I go back for seconds. <laughs> Look who showed up just in time for the sweet treat, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to try these bad boys, Bubba? So we had these freezing in the freezer, got them out, and now we're about to dig in and enjoy. Remember, we've got the we've got mint chocolate chip, we've got cake batter, and we've got moose tracks. What one are you going for? Bubba All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go mint chocolate chip. That's what I was gonna do. Historically too. been my favorite. Ice cream. Yeah, you want mint chocolate chip too? Nope. Nope. Moose tracks? Yeah. Okay, that's this guy. Were they cold? Oh yeah, they're melting a little bit because it's warm, but here we go. Let's give them a try. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yum. Up. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> you got a little bit of brain freeze? <clears throat> Or is it delicious? Oh, the cookie's got a little bit of crisp to it from mm -hmm. being cooked on the griddle. And that ice cream is absolutely amazing. So delicious. This is not beard friendly at mm -hmm. all. The cookies turned out delicious. The ice cream from Far Better Ice Cream is absolutely phenomenal. It's far better than anything we've ever had. We highly recommend you try this. We're going to enjoy some more. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching us. Make sure you check out blackstoneproducts.com for all things Blackstone griddles, accessories, and everything else. Make sure you ring the bell so you check out all the other shows from Teddy, <laughs> I don't know who Teddy is. <laughs> it was Todd and Betty yeah. put together. <laughs> Make sure you ring the bell so you check out all the shows from Todd, Betty, Bruce, Nate, CJ, and of course us at Destination Delicious. And until next time guys, we will see you down the road. Oh my gosh, we're making such a mess. Mm -hmm.